Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for June 2024. These readings are for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will have both a money and a love reading today. There is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box if you're interested in that. This is brought to you by the Moonology Manifestation Oracle card deck. It's the theme for the reading. New Moon in Libra. Know you are loved, okay? And of course you are. I love you. But if nobody's told you today, the cards want to tell you as well. We are going to start off with the money reading. What advice do you have for Pisces to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Pisces need to know about money, please? I just heard the money ball. I'm not really sure what that means, but okay. Just so I'd let you know. Four card reading with an oracle card. All right, you have here the tower in the past, the five of cups in the present. This is looking up with the world. My gosh, somebody here came here for a reason. This is your reading, and if you're down and out, know that things are about to change. You got the emperor here too. That emperor is the father of the tarot, the great architect of the universe. Somebody here has got a kick in the crotch, big time. But I'll tell you what, with the world and the outcome, you're coming into an amazing new cycle. This tower energy, we, we the tower in some readings is not, the tower is not a bad card. Let me just tell you that. But with the five of cups right behind it, it's this is not happy, joyous, and free, okay? So the it created some kind of a ripple effect. Now, if it's on the mundane level because the five of cups is a minor arcana, and you say, no, it was just I didn't get the car I wanted or I didn't get the job, but I'm still employed, I definitely feel like you have a new opportunity. The tower helps us see things so in ourselves. It is a card of awakening. It's that let go or be dragged. And so if you've been somehow you know, dreaming yourself into an illusion about money or there's something about you and the way you've been seeing things that needs to be cleared up a bit, okay? Because this can also be denial, where we've been in a state of denial and the truth hits us right in the face. Reality, it's like a big reality check. And so this is also the card of the corporate raider. So if you did have a corporate downsizing and it took you out of a job, I do feel like you're going to move into something better anyway that's a lot less stressful. I feel like somebody here, I keep hearing they were in the um, exterior. It's like they keep talking about this interior group, almost like a group of people who was doing a lot of things behind the scenes, not being fully transparent, and they knew they weren't, and they knew it was going to have consequences. But I will say with this, though, if it's something to do with a deal, too, that didn't go through on a vehicle or a home or something like that, I also feel like whatever it was had more problems than you realized. This ha happens for you. It is a wake-up call. It is a reality check like we talked about. And so I also feel like, too, you may have something here where you find out that what you wanted, be careful what you wish for, okay? I once traded in a car, long story short, to a dealership. I knew somebody at the dealership. My old car died on a, tr a test drive, right? What if those people would have bought that car and it would have died when they got it home? I mean, you know, some things it's like, woo, dodged a close one there. Um, so with this Five of Cups, it's temporarily disappointing, all right? It's really about noticing around you and taking the taking the bounce, pivoting, and turning around and saying, well, there's two cups over here. I'm going to go into the solution. And so if there's been something around you too, if you're caught up with coworkers who are just admiring the problem and they're not in the solution, you might need to run, don't walk in the other direction, all right? Because we don't want to be with a misery loves company kind of energy with this. It just makes us stay in it longer than is needed because you have the world. So your coworker might not. They might have more of the same, but you don't. So your energy is changing. You have a new opportunity. I also feel like too, if something ended, if it was a job, it may also open a door for you to move to a new area that I feel like will be beautiful for you. With this energy of the world, it's traveling, it's getting out and seeing the world, but it is an energy where you bask in the perfection of the moment. There is no downside to this. It is doors opening that you didn't know were available to you. So if you had something that took a bit of a turn, I feel like too your creativity is a part of it. If you're some kind of a content creator, I've noticed YouTube's um, 
their AI have been a lot better. Their apps have improved. So when they're checking, they're not, you know, egregiously demonetizing people like they used to be. If that was you, you're going to come out of that. Okay, if something happened that seemed unfair, I just feel like with the emperor and the advice, he is all about following the rules. He is about organization, order, measurement, and delivering. He doesn't settle. And so the emperor too, I feel like if, if you were cast aside from something, you have an emperor waiting to pick you up and bring you along. And so if it's a job, this person's going to treat you better than you've been treated. If it's something like I said with a purchase, you may have an emperor who is the person negotiating the purchase. And this is very upfront, very transparent. There's nothing hidden here. So if there wasn't something hidden, I feel like they're saying, look, you know your worth, you are loved, and the outcome is very, very positive. Well, this says it too. You have the card of the phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. The cards say crisis. And so for somebody here, though, it ends up working out better than it would have so let's see now what else you need to know here, Pisces, about love. Good things are coming. All right, what else does Pisces need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces about love, please? Same setup, four card reading with an oracle card at the end, and then we'll hear from Edgar Casey. Okay, you've got here strength. The Five of Cups in the same spot, that's wild. The Six of Swords moving on to better territory, and that Queen of Wands, that Queen of Wands energy, I'm gonna take this, I don't usually, but if it is, you had another three, but we're not gonna keep peeling off cards. For somebody here, if you've had, there's something about the Three of Cups, Five of Cups combo, the Three of Cups is a card of reunion, so for some, you may have reconciliation, all right? I, I take that because it spoke to me. It felt like it needed to come along, but you have Leo here, you have water, you have air, and you do have fire, too. This is a card, though, of perseverance, of compassion, of understanding, of seeing your partner like your source sees them. And so for some, if you know you're meant to be together and you've had a breakup, I do see as you moving forward. Now, look, you have partnerships here, okay? When there are more than one pair, you also have it with the Queen of Wands. It means loyalty. It means deep understanding. And so there's a gentleness about this. So with this strength card, there may be a period of time of really even understanding yourself better. The energy of understanding comes with strength, but it's also too learning about yourself, knowing what makes you tick. Now, if it's something in terms of you learned about yourself on a deeper level and you've left a relationship as a result, it's showing up here too, where you said that wasn't the right one for me. I knew it wasn't. Now, others of you, like I said, there is reconciliation here. There's also engagement here too, by the way. The Five of Cups is a change card, but it is a bit too much focus on the past, okay? She weeps for what was. She's grieving for what was. And so when we do that, it closes the heart down. That heart of ours that operates like an accordion, opening and closing. And when the heart takes a hit, the heart says, closed for business. I can't do this right now. It's too painful. We got to get you back open. So meditate, quiet the mind, know you are loved. That came in here for somebody. And with the Six of Swords, I do feel like you're leaving troubled waters behind. Now, if it's a relationship that you're in or a reconciliation, it is about restoring that partnership and moving forward in a way that's a lot less problematic. But overall, with the Six of Swords, it's definitely moving into easier territory, too. And so for some, it may be a new relationship. You have travel here, by the way, too. It's, it's sort of an interesting card because it looks so bleak. It's learning about your past experiences, but in the... Um, little handbook that goes with the deck. It says something like, aren't you lucky travel is coming in? So I do feel like for somebody here, you may have travel showing up here, but it is with a partner. This queen of wands, and we might as well bring this along too. Why not? This queen of wands energy is passion. It's love. It's synergy. It's loyalty. When her king is in the reading, she doesn't, they don't take their eyes off of each other. They were an equal pair. And so the Three of Cups brings in celebration, it brings in love, it brings in dancing and summer concerts and beach walks and 
picking up shells and leaving them in nature and all the good things. But either way with this, you do have love here. You've got a beautiful love story, especially if you're, you're the owner of a broken heart. I feel like that heart is about to mend. All right, you have here, get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. So even if it's a new relationship that's had a minor hiccup, understanding each other is the way to the heart. Okay, I love this card from Edgar Casey. Remember, he's the, from a long, long time ago, but he has to say here, music should be a part of each soul's development. Given the period that he was alive, this is a very forward-thinking person. So the words of Edgar Casey: good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.